Hey guys, Malcolm Moore here. And in today's video, I have an exercise that's gonna help you achieve an early edge change in your turns. An early edge change is where you get the board changing from one edge to the other before the full line. That is before the board is even pointing down the slope. Now, an early edge change is really important because the sooner you can get your board on a new edge, the sooner you're in control, the sooner you can start achieving grip, and the sooner you can start managing the forces coming at you throughout the turn. Now, a lot of you might already be making an early edge change, but the difference is probably that you're not setting that board on its edge and achieving grip. Rather, you're just pushing the board around in a skid. Now, this exercise called garlands will have you setting that edge nice and early and achieving grip early in the turn. So first off, I just want you to watch me do a few of them. Watch closely, see if you can see what I'm doing and how I'm achieving it. Then afterwards, we'll break it back down and I'll explain it fully. Watching that, you should have seen me engage my edge across the slope and then change edge and then change edge back again all before the fall line, all before the board is pointing down the slope. Now to achieve that quick snappy edge change, I'm really using my lower body, my knees, my feet and my ankles. The front foot initiates the edge change and the back foot follows. You get into this rhythm, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, I've really explained this movement in this video up here. So if you haven't already, do go and check that out. Now, what else is going on? Well, a little bit of speed is gonna help, but most importantly is I'm staying quite low down. By staying low, I'm keeping my knees bent, really allowing my feet, my ankles, my knees to work underneath me. And that's one of the key differences here with what you're normally doing in your riding. I'm not coming up, and over the board to change edge. Rather, I'm just really working my, leg, my legs and the board is changing edge underneath my relatively still upper body. So let's go one edge at a time across the slope. Set that board on its edge, get some speed, get down low and see if you can really work those legs underneath you to quickly change the edge and then change it back again.
Now, if you're finding this hard to get that quick snappy edge change, it's probably because you've got some bad habits that you're trying to get rid of. You might be counter rotating a bit with the upper body or just kicking that back leg out. So keep practicing that exercise, get down low and just try and really isolate that movement with your ankles, with your feet and with your knees to achieve that real quick edge change before the full line. Awesome. So now you've got that garlands exercise, that early edge change, you can bring it back into your everyday riding. Now on the steeps, this is really going to help because the sooner you set that edge, the sooner you can start managing the pressure through the turn. If you were previously skidding the beginning part of the turn, you probably found at the end of your turn, you're struggling to manage all that pressure. The board is kind of skipping, it's bouncing and it's really juddering underneath you. So this is going to help with that. In your carving, the sooner you can get on the new edge, the better. You've then got more time throughout the carved turn. It's essential if you want to start trying things like Euro carves or getting down really low and grabbing the board throughout a carve. But also it's going to help within your freestyle. Say you want to start spinning off jumps. You see people, they kind of carve off the takeoff and they need to do a quick edge change in the setup to the jump to get them either on the heels or on the toe edge to set that spinning motion in progress. So, as I say, it's really gonna help across all aspects of your riding. So really give it the time to practice this garlands exercise, this quick early edge change using your lower body, your feet, your knees, your ankles. Now, as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like and that subscribe button, and I'll be back next week with some more snowboarding tips.